Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do another food review. All right, so we're gonna do <clears throat> a staple. This is a good thing, a staple of our childhood. Ooh. Chef Boyardee Ravioli. All right, so I'm gonna review this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's even better, we got the devil stuff, baby! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare and contrast the ravioli and then the double stuff. Or the overstuffed, I'm sorry. I said double stuff, I meant overstuffed. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm just... But that double stuff, that's the Oreo crap, isn't it? Yep, that's the Oreo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare and contrast the, um, the regular ravioli with the overstuffed. And we're gonna see which one is best. Now, when I was growing up, obviously, this was great stuff, and uh, this <laughs> wasn't anywhere to be found, all right? So uh, they came up with this a couple of uh, years ago, I'm sure. Um, now, the cool thing about this is it lasts a long time, all right? So this stuff right here, let me tell you, I bought this almost a year ago, and it's still good for another year. Um, this I bought the other day, and it's good for till 2024. So you can keep this stuff for a long time. Now, the great great thing about this, all right, this is, check this out. All right, this is very similar stuff, so I'm just gonna say this. Uh, 320 calories per can, right? And um, uh, there's a little bit of fat, words, words, words. Cholesterol, 2%, 3%, sodium, 59%. Um, and then there is uh, total carbs, 19%, blah, 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 blah. Good amount of vitamin D, good amount of iron, potassium. So, um, but still, it's Chef Boyardee, man. That's great stuff. When you're a kid, that's awesome. Now, how viable is it to eat when you are you are an adult? We're gonna look and find out. So here we go. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually we're gonna cook them both in the same pot. It doesn't matter because the sauce is the same. All right. All right. So shake, shake, shake it real good. Make sure everything's everything's fine. I love these new tops you got there. And then you just. There is always one stuck right in there, just like that. Come on, get out. All right, that's all done. All right? Doubles the overstuffed. Love that. Oh, this is killing me. All right, now we put that in there. Oh, that is more, that seemed like it had more sauce in there, you know? We put that in there, and then what we're gonna do Oh, are you serious? There we go. And we are just gonna go ahead and cook it. Now, remember, one of the things we're gonna, one of the things I like to do with this is I like to say, hey, could I eat this every day? Um, in a in a survival situation, could I eat this every day? Is it relatively cheap to um, to stock up on? Because actually. Those two cans right there cost me less than uh, $2. You know, that's including tax. So it's relatively cheap to stock up on. Could I eat it every day? All right, and remember, if I could eat it every day, that's a five. If I can eat it every day, you know, there's a graduated scale back down to one. So we'll see what happens. And um, all right, hang on. All right. Oh. Cooking. Cooking. Give it a stir. It doesn't take long to cook. I think, you know, maybe 10 minutes at the most. But what I like to do is I like to, you know, give it a stir about every two to three minutes. And, uh, mmm. Woo! And that's good because it keeps everything flowing. You don't get any crusting on the sides. So make sure you do that.
Right, so what we're gonna do, is now we're gonna dish it out. Now, as you can see, that is an overstuff, right? And that, now nah, that's still an overstuff. There you go. That is a regular. All right, so let's move over to the table and I'll show you the difference between the two. All right. Woo! All right, so overstock. Wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff right there. Regular. See how the, you see the difference right there? The overstuffed and then the regular. It's definitely, there's definitely a lot of uh, imitation real, the real slash imitation slash, you know, whatever meat. So, but, I mean, does it taste different? Not real, no. And the sauce is the same. The calories are supposed to be the same. Salt's the same. Nutrition's the same. Price is the same. So, not sure. I mean, good stuff, but we need to kick it up a notch. So we've got us a bowl, okay. and now it's mixed, obviously, but, but you know what? The sauce is the same, so it's going to taste the same. But let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. Oh yeah, baby. Frank's Red Hot. We're just going to dump a bunch, bunch of that in there. All right. Now check this out. This is a big surprise. We're gonna go ahead and put a bunch of cheese on it. Oh yeah, yeah. That right there just makes everything better. Perfect. Put the cheese back. Mix it up and eat it. Just like this. Ah, the steam coming off of this. And I can start to smell the Franks and the cheddar cheese. Look at that. <laughs> it just that just looks so good. Mmm. No. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was growing up, Chef Boyardee, man. I mean, you had the chef, and you had um, the ravioli, and then you also had um, the, uh, oh, what's that stuff called? I got some here. Beef aroni. Um, you also had beef aghetti, and, you know, I don't know if it was, I don't remember if it was Chef Boyard, but you also had SpaghettiOs. Mm. Then, um, bologna sandwiches were also awesome. Um, but you had, you had all that Chef Boyardi stuff. But the coup de gras, every time my parents went out, you know, and they'd go out probably, you know, once every six months, they would go for a dinner for themselves and stuff like that. We would get Chef Boyardee pizza. And you and Chef Boyardee pizza, you actually made the pizza dough. Um, you put it in a pan and you know, it came with um, you know, the sauce and 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 everything and the, the cheese and and all that kind of stuff. But it was just delicious. I don't know what it was about the Chef Boyardee stuff, but it's, it's just so good. Now, can I eat this every day? Yes, I can. So it's a five star. That's that's all there is to it. So we've had two five stars. Um, 
the Dinty Moore, and then this. And this is absolutely delicious. I can eat this every day. I don't, by the way. Maybe that should be one of my next um, videos is what I actually eat every, eat every day. You guys would be surprised. But it's not this. But I still love this. Could I go... Could I take this into a zombie apocalypse situation? Yeah. I sure can. It's good stuff. It's cheap. A doll, less than a dollar a can. This is really good. So, anyway, that's it. Hope you guys had a great time. Believe me, I did. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. It's gonna be a 600 calorie uh, dinner tonight. So, um, thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, I love you. See ya.